Ukraine is in the news again uh, for once not due to military conflict with the rebels or with the Russians. No, in this case, uh, angry Ukrainian protesters have thrown a member of parliament into a dumpster. Uh, his name is Vitaly Zurovsky. Uh, you're seeing the footage here. Now, uh, this guy is pretty notorious there for authorizing uh, bills that place restrictions on protest and free speech and your ability to uh, let the government know about your grievances. And so they have decided to fight back against that by throwing him in the dumpster um, and then throwing trash on top of him. Now, of course, because I'm an American and I can't conceive of this ever happening with that crowd not immediately being gunned down by the National Guard afterward, look, I, I find this to be humorous so long as it does not go past this into violence. And, and I like it and I, I want to explain why. First of all, don't throw him in the dumpster. I like the spirit behind it. The problem uh, in America, I think, is that for the most part, people feel completely apathetic about their government and perhaps with good reason. Their voting rights have been taken away in large part. The politicians are completely bought off by people like the Koch brothers and, and, and um, Sheldon Nielsen and, and things like that. They don't feel like they have any agency when it comes to influencing government and government policy. And I think that it's too easy in our apathetic, relatively well-off country to think that you know, what am I going to do to change the government? Well, look, voting doesn't even really feel like it's worth it. Maybe I'll sign an online petition or maybe I'll tweet about something, all of which can be useful as part of a larger campaign to change government policy. But all too often, that's all Americans do. In Ukraine, they throw people in dumpsters. Can you imagine if you were to take John Boehner and you were to huck him into a, a refuse receptacle, I think that that would send a very strong message to the Republicans in Congress that perhaps they should stop um, with the gridlock in government. Or we will bust the gridlock by throwing one of you right through the wall that you've erected between uh, our elected representatives and some sort of legislative outcome. Now again, I don't want to encourage violence. Don't throw people in trash cans. It has a very high school sort of uh, vibe to it. But I do think that people need to get more worked up and, 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 and fight harder, not fight literally, but fight more metaphorically to change government policy. I know that it's hard and I know that it feels like you and a couple of your friends up against literally hundreds of millions of dollars every electoral cycle is just too large of an obstacle to get past. But we can fight against it. And and if not, you know, on the issues that we care the most about, first, we can attempt to disarm them when it comes to money and politics, to take away the largest weapons they have that stop them from being challenged in primaries and defeated, that stop them from being forced to be responsive to the needs of the electorate. You can do things like support Wolfpac. You can organize in your state to try to get a constitutional amendment passed that would limit the influence of, of money in government. All of those would be great steps and perhaps more productive in the long term than simply hucking your representatives into dumpsters. But I, but I do want to thank the Ukrainian protesters in this particular case for at least showing that, as we've seen perhaps in Japan when they have their brawls in parliament, uh, politics does not have to be 100% decorum and, and politeness and uh, you know, the, the rules of parliament and, and parliamentary procedure and things like that. You can get a little more visceral when the most important things to you are on the line. So no violence. Let's keep it reasonable and rational. But at the same time, don't allow the rich of America and their elected uh, representatives, their bought off representatives to determine your electoral and legislative destiny. You can take things into your own hands and then throw them in the dumpster.